Much games. I forgot something. Now I'm really ready. Now I'm really ready. Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World. I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Good morning, Gare Bear. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. <laughs> No, 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 not you. Not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, Officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. It up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Boring. Quiet down. I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. Huh. I wonder who's at fault here. Probably that guy. Hi, Pearl. And how are you on this beautiful day? Oh, SpongeBob! Didn't you hear? It's a tragedy! There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there. That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead. Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob. How could this happen to me? Why is my life, like, such a tragedy? Sorry, my rectangular friend. Nobody's getting through right now. We're still sorting out this massive traffic jam. Oh, I see. Well, thanks anyway, officer. Good luck cracking the case. Howdy, SpongeBob. You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster. In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. 
But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. <laughs> Did get smaller, or did these tiki's get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! Beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe, home to my friends and memories. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. Two hours later. <laughs> Look, Patrick. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Uh, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? Can I have this? What, this old piece of... magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. One loading screen later. I wish? No. I wish? No. I wish to... Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh.
Patrick, what have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Ouch! Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute! Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong! I bet it's all her fault! I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Weird. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top half still. A little dash of the People of Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no. Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. <sighs> my adorable cuties! You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss 
my Gear Bear! <laughs> Oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Oh, Bubbles! You must feel awful about this, huh? Woo! I look like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. On the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. A strong feeling we're not bikini bottom anymore. Looks more like the wild west. Oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Shoo! What a fun ride! Yeah, let's get lined and ride it again. I don't care what Cassandra wants with this stuff. Oh. The only thing I made out of jelly is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're St. 
Patrick. It's Mrs. Puff. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. Ah! Quick, let's catch up with her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Luggage doing in the middle of the desert. I think it dropped out of his pup's carriage. Experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mm, I love ranch. Ooh, more jelly. The beauty of nature. Hey, you think they got vending machines here? Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that, uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and, uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh... So, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? Set? A 
little dabble, do ya? Well done, Squirrel. You scored 35.7 points. Go around! Keep on smashing! Fire it up! SpongeBob, look out! Five point seven points. Keep on smashing. Look out! That's all. I think he lost his pants. You have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. A license. <laughs> think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Ooh, yeehaw! We made it to Manta Fay, my floating friend. My butt is killing me for all that riding you had to do. That's a big slingshot.
I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! what you're really made of. Grab your straw. Skull! Bottoms up! Chug, 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 chug! Doggone it, we're out of cactus soda. Ever since this red-handed bandits, bandits took over our cactus farms, We've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Cactus Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just... Green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. familiar-looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%? I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. Ooh, look. An old warning sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy. This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, maybe that cactus is way up there, huh? I've never seen a fish like this. Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. 
There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That juicy cactus gold awaits us! Yeet! <laughs> ah, no more taping. Even a blind hog can find an acorn once in a while. will break his arm patting himself on the back. Hey, kid, be careful. This heat does funny things to your head. live longer in the city. It just seems that way.
gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. Sticky sweet! You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. Things are better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Ooh, more jelly! Set than that, boy. Oh, more jelly. Activity. That little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. A little dabble, do ya? <laughs> Who knew the desert was such a hazardous environment? Ready? 
Is it just me, or is everything in this place trying to hurt us? Yeah! Stick me swing. We melt those cactuses for all they were worth. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. yet. It's so dark. A little dab will do ya. Changelings, what brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, uh, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole. Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was got me. I swear. Oh, we've got the golden tooth. Hurry, let's get back to the bunker before something comes looking for it. You'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? 
Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> Three hours later. Sticky sweet! The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me! Supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. May I? <laughs> Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train if Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. <laughs> Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring him home!
Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. Well, SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket. And it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, 
Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Time to get back to business as usual. Thank you, SpongeBob. Hey, Giggle Buddies. Both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Whoa. Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. Oh, my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. They'll be much bulkier, too. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes. I think we call them... What was the word? <laughs> well, I'm going to call them Samantha. I can finally put my what? Don't give up hope. SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way. It's a scar. Struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But, uh, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. Expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous. Film me, Sergeant. One minute and fifty-eight seconds. Uh, no, fifty-seven. Uh, script down. Uh, Fifty-five. Uh, just hurry up. Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind, or the understanding kind, or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man. Let's take some pictures of capture this train wreck. Wow, they're taking photos of us. Are we in the movie? Oh. Do I look bloated enough? I just have myself inflated. <laughs> this is a restricted zone. No photos. Ouch! Sign my biceps. Sign it! Whoa! Larry's gonna need you to bulk up before he signs. SpongeBob, I want your autograph. Please? Okay, you want anything else? Maybe my wallet? My house keys? My shoes? Um, never mind. Please go 
to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. That is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, we'll be fine. I can't work like this. Yeah, me too. I'm going back home. into the distant future! I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. Sticky sweet. an actor did those at the agency lay upon me. I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. In the and don't walk out of frame. And 
<laughs> A little babble, do ya? Magic, thanks to the jelly you're collecting for my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the jelly. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra. We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. Ooh, more jelly. Karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick!
Karate kick it! Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving! I say we walk, kick things off! Spongier than usual. I hope Cassandra is right. All this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process. Which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque.
A little dab will do ya. Security guard will let you pass now. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. <laughs> That's it. A real karate king has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found craft services! Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract! What? What? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. And action. I have to karate kick the crew? Oh, I hope I don't hurt them. Oh, Lord. They love it. Well, okay. Making movies sure is a weird process. You're not entirely useless, as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! Sticky sweet!
Move it! In this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Get some villain buried people under rubble! Who could have done this? It wasn't me, SpongeBob, I swear! Oh, thank Neptune. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Sticky sweet! Looks like some kind of animal dug these holes. Do you know what? I nuts for winning? Get real, SpongeBob. Thank you so much. Can I get your autograph? Stay me sweet. I mean, just look at you! To my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. method on me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend.
If you want to convince my audience that you're the real Karate King, you have to be as fast as a leopard. Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it. Place the seahorses with boats and the baby. Ooh, sleek lines. Comfortable seat. No slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby. I almost forgot to mention. All the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama.
one in need. Karate Bob to the rescue! Well, find those jelly guys again. I hope I can use stuff, man! I thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. This Zen garden is so calming. Ah, oh, you said it. Woo! Go Zen Garden! Listen, you talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! elevator was working. Well, it probably was working, but now it's not. Not 
to fear, my inflatable friend. I'm as sure-footed as... No, I just look down! <laughs> Is, is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Cause I'm in a mood. And my mood is karate! 
Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs> Managed to rewind their climactic karate clash with the Sponge power Bob! of cosmic change. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back too! I hear you, pal. Ooh, I bet Cassandra will help. She's the most trustworthy person we know. I know I should be inside with our elderly residents, but they discovered this new radio channel and went crazy. Nothing will settle them down. I usually keep fortune cookies on me for emergencies like these. The soothing crunches are so calming. But unfortunately for me, the cookies have all disappeared amidst the town's chaos. Come on, Patrick. We can find those clairvoyant cookies. The 
TV bottom has never looked better. But it's covered in mysterious cosmic jelly stuff. Cassandra, please help. We have to find my house. Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy. I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart. Cassandra, will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic order of everything. Oh, my beautiful home. And a delicious pineapple. Here, why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? <laughs> Yo ho! What be a pirate's favorite cheese? Oh, oh. oh, fingers crossed, my pineapple is still in one piece. is pretty neat. I hope none of our other friends got dragged here. Flying Dodgeman. He has my pineapple too? That fruit stealing freebooter is taking this too far. Mr. Dutchman, sir, you have to get your ship back so I can get my pineapple back. But Prawn threw out all me precious socks. No pirate worth their salt would follow a sockless captain. And if I can't round up a crew, we won't stand a chance against the Admiral. You don't need socks to be a pirate. Why, Patrick here has never worn socks a day in his life. I don't even have feet. So, if you need a couple of loyal sea dogs, Patrick and I will gladly join your crew. Socks or no socks. <laughs> All right, all right, but first, ye scallywags, you must prove that ye are real pirate material. To show that you are worthy, you must unearth a real treasure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Earn yourselves fearsome pirate names! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And find army sucks! I still want them back. Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! I'm sticky sweet. I hope nobody needs a lifeguard. Beach ball and go somewhere else. I'm getting notes of rented help.
gosh! Real life pirate ships! I want to touch! Hey, you! Could you get rid of those jelly abominations? SpongeBob? Patrick? You're here too? I thought it was just me and the anchovies. How did we get here? Well, uh, we can talk about that later. What's important right now is getting you and the anchovies and my pineapple back to Bikini Bottom. Say, where are the anchovies? That obnoxious shrimp rounded us up and made his jelly minions stick us to shipwrecks all over the lagoon. He said we're not pirate material. It isn't my fault I have a severe eye patch allergy. Don't lose heart, Larry. We're going to rescue every bikini bottomite who's stuck here, or our names aren't SpongeBob and Patrick the the pirate guys. That's not a very fearsome pirate name. Ah, uh, we're working on it. Thank you, SpongeBob. I'm going home to tan and pump. Swamp looks kind of eerie, like the kind of place you'd find pirate ghosts. a lamp, I'd give you a glowing review. Me, 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 
little dabble, do ya? If we dusted off these wrecks and hoisted his socks up their flagpoles, it would look like the Dutchman has a whole armada that everyone would know he's back! SpongeBob, that's a pretty good plan, but flagpoles don't have any feet! How are you gonna get the socks on? Very carefully, Patrick. Let's go! Castle. Must be where the king of sand lives. Oh. <laughs> 
The Krusty Krab Pizza is a pizza for you and me. Ooh, more jelly. This sure is your lucky day! I knew it! But why? Avasti, before ye stand a notorious pirate captain, Pinza Rosa. I need some saps, I mean a crew, who can haul, I mean share, me treasure, I mean... Wait, no, yeah, I meant treasure that time. Oh boy, treasure! Right! Well, you seem deserving and present. Now, to share me treasure, you'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. It ran off course and hit some rocks in the middle of the lagoon. Someone who was totally not me must have been holding the map upside down. Anyhow, I would get the treasure myself, but <laughs> I'm far too rich to do a crewman's work. Lucky day indeed, Patrick. With that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. Technically, you won't be, though. I can't be bothered with the bureaucracy of registering a new crew. Or paying for them. Will we at least get real pirate names? Sure, why not? Then we're ready! A pretty mermaid is sunbathing. That's my favorite kind of bathing. Uh, uh. <sighs> She's pretty. Pardon 
me, miss. Why so glum? Uh, because I, like, totally lost my joy. And without it, I can't sing, which is, like, totally not cool for mermaids and stuff. Maybe it's in your fridge. Whenever I need joy, I can always find it in my fridge. The last time I had my joy was, like, when I was, like, dancing with my girlfriends, but they're not, like, here. And even if they, like, were, there's no music. But music is everywhere. All you need are some instruments in your hands and a little rhythm in your heart. SpongeBob, let's make some music. Then maybe we could go on a dance date? Sure. Like, as a friend, uh, I promised myself I'd never date a balloon again. Also, I'm, like, way more into dating pirates now anyway. What about balloon pirates? Come on, Patrick. I bet we can find some stuff floating around that we can use as instruments. Then we can serve up some music. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Problem? To show my gratitude, I will grant you, like, a wish or whatever. I wish that SpongeBob and I could reach the treasure on the grounded ship so we could become, like, you know, like, like, totally date worthy pirates. Like, have a safe flight, my melodic friends. Travel seems a little unsafe. Launch! For lost treasure. Well, it'll just be regular treasure when we find it.
You're alive? I mean, welcome back! You truly earned your pirate names! From now on, you shall call yourselves... I don't know, whatever you can think of. Hey, you never said there'd be thinking involved! I have a mermaid to impress, so you better make good on your promise! Come about with that volume, me airheaded lad, before you alert the lagoon guard! They're a ruthless bunch who'll stop at nothing to get their fins on me treasure. So, of course you'll be compensated for all your thinking with this beautifully crafted treasure chest. Contents not included. Wow, the chest is the best part! Anything you put in a treasure chest becomes treasure. I should let Gary sleep in there. Okay, fine. But I still want a cool pirate name! Blast over the doors for us. That could have been way harder. Guy in the sky! Ooh, the miracle of monster birth. <laughs> this jelly has the reflexes of a catfish. <laughs> Coming, pie! 
Show you how a real camera uses these cannons. SpongeBob, thank Neptune. How did you get here? Eh, the usual. Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that we are here to set things straight. Oh good, these restraints are so tight, I can't feel my leg anymore. Uh, I think your leg will be okay, as long as you stay away from termites.
<laughs> I am going to run you ragged! A little dabble. Feel the wrath of Prawn! Yet? Well, we do have a real treasure chest. The Dutchman Sock Treasure! The finest pirate I ever knew went by Jeff. So you can be the, oh, I don't know, Square One. That's not fair. I wanted to be Square One. Well, you can be. Square two? Sure! Whatever! Oh, Battle Shark! How I missed you! Alright, you're part of me crew now! It'll be grueling, mind-numbing, and repetitive! Just like cleaning a litter box! <laughs> Square one! Use the wind bongos and flying boats to get yourselves onto me ship! Once on board, hoist me last shot and fire the huge cannon! That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of Ahem. the downfall of dismissal? The dismissal of Admiral Prawn! <laughs> Incoming pie! Pineapple. Hi. These dusty old cannons still pack a punch, no? That should cover my buns. Let me show you how a real pirate uses these cannons. My pie wanna be puppet! Say good pie! <laughs> Forever, but I will certainly make you try. The crest. Oh, thank you, Patrick. show you how a real pirate uses these cannons. My pie wanna be pirates!
for taking back this ship, Prawn. And my pineapple. What's the matter, Rectangle Boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship. And that road leads right to Victory Town. So bring it on. <laughs> We are very close to defeating Admiral Pond. We are so happy, we probably won't even eat our souls. Pineapple. Let's get you back to Bikini Bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Cobb Street. Sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. What are you doing, Plankton? Get your charm off me buns! 
Sounds like Plankton and Mr. Krabs are getting along great. Uh, maybe I should check on them, just in case. I think I can get some up here through the air. Just call me a flying fish! <laughs> Good notes. Well, that one was almost a sentence. I can't believe that Amoeba would dare to go missing. How could he do this to me? I think you mean us. Right, us, yeah. If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, Krabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. So hungry, we need food and attention. <laughs> you like playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. SpongeBob, me boy, I know you had your hands full already, but I got a little favor to ask you. Okay, Mr. Krabs, what do you need? I was wondering why me pockets felt so light, so I checked and discovered that me lucky penny collection's gone missing. You carry your penny collection with you? Of course, lad, and they were here before we got back from this other world. SpongeBob, those pennies are worth more than your life. Please, bring them back home, boyo. Yes, sir, Mr. Krabs, sir. Thank you, lad. You're the best employee a crab could wish for. Tell Squidward to take notes. A little dab will do ya. What's going Come on? on? I'm Where starving. are you? What's the deal? Hungry. Need food and I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Ooh, a pretty flower! 
our costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Don't give up, Care Bear! I'm coming for you! Patrick, they're, they're... Funny? No, scary! Oh, yeah, yeah, that was gonna be my second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary! SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very f mm, mm, mm. calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him! What we have to do is just follow the slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying city. A little dabble, do ya? 
I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, uh, that works too, I guess. Did you know everyone at my school says I'm the smartest, most talented, most coolest kid? Because they do. Say, hey, pretty good dork. Sticky sweet. Trick or treat. I can't understand your accent. Trick. Or treat. Oh. Why didn't you say so? Here. Have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thanks, you. My snail, tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. I got a rock. Don't you know people have phobias? 
Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? Ooh, more jelly. I'm rich! <laughs> I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Costume. How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks! That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. <laughs> You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! <laughs>
There's a shiny candy over there! I wonder what it tastes like. Don't touch it, Patrick! Strawberries, my favorite! Patrick, you, you're glowing! Who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. SpongeBob, it's too dark here! Do something! These cables are glowing! Maybe they feel pretty. <laughs> Or if it's just dark. Not just dark, Patrick. This is advanced darkness. Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. <laughs>
Prince of Robin. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. Oh, are sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. So learned. A little dab will do ya. Those snails the monster kidnapped! Look! It's Gary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy!
bring that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. For once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. SpongeBob, there you are! I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, need you to get new ones. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, SpongeBob. Great! Now my whole rock is covered in snail slime! I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. I know it's a very challenging situation. But could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate! Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which... Good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. Well, Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Nah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like someone's controlling me. Oh, tight, Squidward. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. Manaka! Spongebob! No blah blah? Unger! Uh. Uh. Uh.
Squidward, Banuga, Porifera.
Save Squid! Best friends! Tabaga! Work it quick!
Chupongo. Oh, oh.
Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Ham, Gaga. Hmm, looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. <laughs> SpongeBob, good that you're here. I need your help with a problem I'm having. Anything for you, Sandy. It looks like the heating for my tree dome broke when we came back. I have a little emergency machine for cases like this, but it needs some really hot objects in order to function. We'll keep our eyes open on our adventure and bring you back as many hot objects as we can find. You're the best. Thanks, SpongeBob. My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture! My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world domin- I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea! Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. <laughs> Tis I, Sir Squarepants, ready to rescue another companion. Huzzah! Oh boy. I always get hungry when we go to a library. Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. Phew, that was heavy. That's 
you do the trick, Patrick. Look, the pumpkins are smiling. <laughs> this book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. <laughs> Je vous déteste tout. <laughs> His coughing doesn't sound too good. Well, if you ask me, I always eat something very rough to sand down the cough. Ooh, we could try that. But first, let's try something more refreshing. Hmm, where can we find some delicious slurpable beverages? Check out my new ride. It helps when I need to rest my peg leg. A little dabble, do ya? I hope all our missing friends are still okay. It's up to us to bring them back. It is Sir SpongeBob of Bikini Bottom here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been SpongeBob all along? Stop it, your childish shenanigans! Oh, forget it. Listen, SpongeBob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's going to be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm. And they're all coming to celebrate their love for me, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This rescue mm. might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> What a huge rock! Looks more like a trap than a bee. Well, whatever it is, I'd sure like to live under it. Oh, thank 
you, Patrick. Thank you. Oh, thank you! That's a long way down. Uh, hey, maybe you should try being a balloon too, SpongeBob. way through now. Sticky sweet. Articles, we broke the bubble wand. How are we gonna get home now and save Pearl? No problem. We can fix it easy peasy. All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together. Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant! Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands. I will, just like when I broke, uh, fixed your TV. And your bookshelf. And Gary's food bowl. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I let your refrigerator back together. Oh, I shouldn't have to explain how it came apart in the first place, though. That faucet was leaky for months!
I hate you. Where doth you think you are going? There are options? I want to go to Finland! Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. And even then, there's no boys allowed. Unless they're in the band. Are you in the band? Tragically, my duties robbeth the princess of the elevating experience that are my melodies. I am forced to cast other, more mediocre talents. And tell sea urchins like yourself to get out of here! Maybe this is the entrance to the castle! We should come back with all the bubble water. Look, Patrick! I think there's some animal trapped in this cage! Oh boy, oh boy! Maybe it's a giraffe! We should probably free it from its cage! Whatever it is! <laughs> the princess's animal is so A little dabble do ya?
the key to our success. This one soon. Ah. What a view. This place really is a world of wishes. Wow. I like the view up here. Let's build a nest. Sticky sweet. Something cool, like, uh... Look, Patrick, have you ever seen such a majestic Ooh. creature? The colorful mane, the sparkly <laughs> eyes, and that... piece of bubble wand in its mouth! Quick, we have to catch it! Don't let the unicorn get away! It's too pretty! Wow, 
it is really fast. Looks like it belongs to a witch. Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it.
good girl. You are, you are. Salutations, Yellow Knight. Isn't she a good girl? I'm Twitchy the Witchy. And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your... Uh, handsome pet. Because it took something of ours. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing about. They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age. You got it, Twitchy. One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up. How hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Meanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up this bucket and I may trade you for it. <laughs> you got it! Sticky sweet!
my best friend. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling has begun. What's up, you two? Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. <laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Now get lost! Ooh. What a pro! Uh huh. I'm gonna lick that just as good as her! I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway! Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the Kingdom's bards to heed her casting... Uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's... Uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! 
but where are we going to find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant, too. Water up! Ooh, the auditions are starting. Pillows, get your pillows. Rest your head. Hey, bet you can't pop all the balloons in the courtyard faster than me. I'm the courtyard balloon popping champion. Ouch! Rich! Oh man, all right. I guess you went fair and square. Ooh, more jelly. Day old fruit, get your day old fruit here. Almost time for the auditions. I've got my tomatoes ready. Ooh, the auditions are starting soon. Pillows, get your pillows. Rest your head. Throw them at a friend. Stale bread and day cabbage. New malnourishing If I behave in this sense to me, Mom, may I live in the castle one day? Another bard, another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah. Thou hath until I follow the sleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration, amazeth me. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seem to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. <laughs> No 
more chafing. Sleep on all of them to find out. Ooh, more jelly. Well, I think they'd at least tidy up around here for such a momentous occasion. Who will 
serve my guests their well-earned cake slices. You? As if. I'm a princess, you royal doofus. That would be totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl, I mean, Princess Pearl, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake! Order up! party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. Best party ever! I could totally hug you right now, but I don't want to pop you. <laughs> Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon. You can still hug me. <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it. Ah! We did it, Patrick. Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting. Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you. Now I have to go find my dad to make sure he's okay. What's driving me to the mall? They're having a sale on princess dresses. <laughs> Later! Ooh, more jelly! Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna destroy Bikini Bottom! Didn't we already do that? I hope he doesn't get hurt. We have to get him back down to normal snail size. Maybe something from another world can help him. Hmm, like a potion that does something magical. Well, magic is what caused this mess in the first place, but not potions. <laughs> have all the sweet, sweet jelly I need to fix your little mishap. But watch out, my darling. Your next journey will take you to a place where fun and fear have become one and the same. You'll have to go back to the amusement park called Glove World. Yay! We'll see about that. Your costume is almost complete, but to get you into Glove World, it's missing one more ingredient. The breath of a pufferfish. Maybe Mrs. Puff knows where we can get the breath of a pufferfish. After all, she is a teacher. This glove hat can only mean one thing! You can finally shake hands with your whole head now! This town has really changed, man. That should cover my buns. Sweet! Tell 
SpongeBob. Hi. Oh, hello, little sticky note. Mrs. Puff, could you do that again, please? I most certainly won't. Oh, please, 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 please. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Good luck, SpongeBob. Don't mess this up. Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We have this under control. Mrs. Puff sure must have fun doing this all the time. <laughs> Am I right, Patrick? Agent Poor Bearer calling for best friend support. Over. Pa Patrick. Game over. First, I lost Bikini Bottom. And now I've lost my best friend. Loser. <laughs> no, I can't lose as long as I keep trying. I'm gonna find Patrick, and together we will bring Bikini Bottom back to normal. Carnival snacks, and I would happily pay for the damages. Since you isolated 
the box with your cosmic shape. It's so <laughs> ugly now, and no one will high five me anymore. <laughs> Right, Squarepants, you've made it this far. You have to keep going. You can't turn your back on your best friend. After all, you have to talk to yourself when he's not around. Patrick, I'm 
coming for ya! Nothing can stop me now! any of these rides. I've got my eye on you, Jailbird. Sticky sweet! Blech! So slimy! Excited, I can only imagine how Squidward is gonna feel. Ahem. <laughs> uh -uh it's not what it looks like. He forces me to take best friends pictures. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Help has arrived. I'm your biggest fan in the whole world. Could you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? Not anything for a fan. Well, in that case, how about letting Patrick go? Mm, no. Ever since you threw Bikini Bottom into outer cosmic chaos, all visitors have vanished from this once beautiful oasis of fun. And with them, their adoration for me! Do you know what becomes of a glove without love? I'm gonna go with G. <laughs> Stop smothering him! It's time I realized, even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, Glovey Glove. Hold on, Patrick! 
sec. I'm coming! I admire you, Gloppy Glove, but you leave me no choice. I'm flying! It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better! You have a world of friends! You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. I will never leave you out of my sight ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob? You toxic yellow polluter! We've gotten reports from multiple sources with the same megalomaniacal voice that you are responsible for all this trash around the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. You either pick it up or you pick jail! Whoa! I don't know where all this trash came from, but I do love to pick things up! 
Plus, it'll give me a chance to work with Bikini Bottom's finest, the Garbage Men. Sign me up! Time to take this trash where it belongs. We sure did a lot today. Oh, it's been fun. See you later. Wait, Patrick. Shouldn't we What's bring the regular jelly to the store and the this chaos? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I can squeeze that in. <laughs> My best friend. Good notes. Well, I won't write any notes. That should cover my buns. Wait, what's the point of a water tower? I guess that's a tower that shows that you're underwater. That's stupid. I can dig it. <laughs> We should find some soothing refreshments for our hero. And so our intrepid deputies return to the Wild West, only to find that life goes on even after corralling the red handed band. Thank 
you, Patrick. Thank you. Count on you, Patrick. It does look a little... Get away from me, creepy, squishy weirdos! Get your own corpses, not mine! Could you please let me rest in peace? Help! Oh, hello. I would say thank you, stranger. Call me SpongeBob. But for what? The damage is already done, and I'll never get this mess cleaned up in time for the ceremony. Ceremony? Like a wedding? Or a birthday party? Is there cake? <gasps> Can we have some, please, Squidward? Who the trench is Squidward? My name is Jeff Tentacles Jr., and it's not a party, mold brain. It's a commemoration. For the late Billy the Bass, the last real cowboy. But look at this. This is a disaster. Don't you worry, Squidward. Jeff, us cowboys always stick together. Oh, please. If you two are cowboys, then I'm a saloon girl. If only two Samaritans could tidy up before the mourners arrive. Until then, I guess I'll have to keep this cemetery locked up. Why don't we clean this mess up for you? What a great idea you independently developed here. You go ahead. I'll be over there in the shade, relaxed, uh, thinking. Thinking about your cowboy needs. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Everything tidy? Great! Now get so I can take a nap before the mourners arrive. like a spot that's the last spot Oh, what? 
Squid words, whistle. Sets have lots of craft services, so we oh, might be able to find like the old folks' cookies have returned here. To the well, set there's of this one thing movies are known for, it is Sandy definitely cookies. Sandy was left on the cookies. cutting room but the cameras keep on moving. movies are the purest form of cinema. It takes a true auteur to capture the raw essence of people punching each other in the face. I never knew art could be so highbrow. I bet being famous is like the best feeling ever. Oh, I bet you're right. Having your name known by people all over the world would be incredible. But not that I would know. snacks. And 
Sure. A little dabble to ya. Would you just defeat those yummy things? My best friend. I'm putting you in my pocket. And 
your end. must be for someone else. Performing daring chases over city rooftops. You should try to beat your best time. It would look great on your reel. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. My best friend. Patrick.
pizza for you and me. Ooh, more jelly. Buns? I bet we can find Mr. Krabs' lucky pennies here! Can't we just give the guy a dime and call it a day? Sticky sweet! is going straight to Mr. Krabs.
Mr. Krabs is going to be so happy when we give him this. Krabs is the one giving me pennies. <laughs> Incoming pie! Pie pie, wanna be pirates? Mr. Krabs is the one giving me pennies. My good noodle senses are tingling. Those stars must be around here somewhere. My good noodle senses are tingling too. In my stomach. Ooh, more jelly. I'm a good noodle for finding this star. Seems our fearless friends have returned to this world. Oh, well, that will do ya. Yeah, they may be done snacking on sweets, but there are still plenty of creepy curiosities in store. Let's 
do some trick or treating. Uh, I think Gary may have devoured all the candy. Tremble before me, the ghostliest ghost, the terrifyingest terror, the one, the only, the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, another Flying Dutchman costume. This ain't no costume. I'm the real deal. Yeah, uh, that's what they all said, too. Blast those imposters. Running around as wannabe ghosts. I will make them all suffer. I'll curse each of them, so any time they want to go somewhere, they'll always get stuck walking behind someone slightly slower than them. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> Forever! Maybe there's a less suffery way, Mr. Dutchman, sir? Could we just replace all other costumes? Well, it's not as scary. But it would save me a couple of hours of cursing. Okay, fine. Take these old Halloween costumes from my shipmates. They don't need them anymore, since they're ghosts. Now, find those pretenders! And redress them. <laughs> Better. Happy Halloween! Hey, I'm a dork! Another good noodle star for Mrs. Puff! She deserves it! A good noodle for finding this star. Oh, you look adorable. Is that what I think it is? A reef blower, huh? Ooh, more jelly! SpongeBob, you managed to win the snail race before, but I think this time it may prove a little more challenging. That's all right, Mrs. Puff. I'm always up for a challenge. Don't I know it? <laughs> meow, 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 meow.
Another good noodle star for Mrs. Puff. She deserves it. You do care. That's a beautiful, scary costume! I'm going home! This stinks! To a whole museum? Gary is so learned. really suits you. Mop. This isn't scary at all. Well done, little 
little sponge. Here, take this costume I found as a reward. It's certainly more scary than the ones you have. Wear it, if you dare. Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. Now I have to go. There's many a rope in need of a good knot. SpongeBob uses the cosmic jelly not only to return to the prehistoric kelp forest, but to return to his bout with a wailing wave.
Well, maybe somebody around here knows how to make a magic potion for Gary. Oh, yeah. Let's get this potion in motion. Uh, Hello! Good morrow, Miss Twitchy. Would you happen to know of a magic potion that could shrink a giant snail back down to normal size? Hmm. Giant snail, huh? Well, I got a potion for giant scallops, but that should work. Probably. Uh, just bring me the ingredients on this list. Can you make a potion that turns me back to normal, too? Ooh, something tells me you were never normal to begin with, kid. You are a good judge of character. One extra large half sweet decaf potion for an extra large snail coming up. A piece of the potion. Princess Pearl is gone. Who knows? Perhaps they've established a proto-democracy based on shared labor and freedom from a single ruler. <laughs> yeah, or maybe uh, the king is a baby. Sardine! Sounds salty. If Squid Note plays again this year. Ooh, the auditions are starting. Pillows, get the kill. Ingredients. Catfish whiskers. Oh, glad I got my paws on these. Ingredient Sweat of Sardine. Sounds salty. A little dab will do. We should bring Squidward here. He's always telling us to get lost.
you, Patrick. Thank you. Ingredient Sweat of Sardin. Even picked up my bacon, egg, and cheese. Thanks, I was starving. All right, I'll go brew your magic potion. One sec. Thanks, Twitchy. Gary will be so happy. Oh, I know that breakfast sandwich was meant to be eaten. One extra large half sweet decaf potion for an extra large sale coming up. We get to have some fun! I just hope we don't run into Glovey. Welcome back to Glove World, SpongeBob! I'm so happy to see you again! Don't worry, I won't throw anything at you this time. <laughs> anyway, complete all the new challenges around Glove World, and I'll give you a prize almost as handsome as yourself. <laughs> have fun! They souped up the whack of glove so it's extra hard now. You should try to beat the high score. Come <laughs> on. 
So, SpongeBob and Patrick return. If you think you're tough, you should try your hand at the strong glove. It's been beefed up to the extreme. I love Glovey, and Glovey loves me! This new shooting gallery was just added to Glove World. Do you want to be one of the very first to try it? Go ahead and hit the high score! Hurry, hurry! Keep your eyes on the prize! This old glove so proud. That's promised. Here's your prize. Hey, happy to help a friend in need. Ah, that's much better. I guess I have to thank you now, huh? I'm just glad I can help one of my best friends in the whole world. If the world is so wide, I'm sure you can pick a new friend. I feel like Mr. Krabs. This is amazing. I can see the tree every day. Good notes. Well, that one was almost a sentence. <laughs>
SpongeBob. Hi. Oh, hello, little sticky note. Check out my new... I can't thank you enough, SpongeBob. Hopefully those fortune cookies will get them to relax. They're acting like they're 70 again. It sounded like they had a lot of fun, so maybe finding their youth again was a good thing. I'm putting you in my pocket. <laughs> Must have everything. you feel better now, Mr. Krabs. I'm putting you in my pocket. Spot! I don't think it was his fault. Silence! This little chum got me worried sick. Don't you do that to me again, ever. Us. Yes, yes, us. Bikini bottom's always changing. I remember when it was only two dimensions. Tell SpongeBob hi. Oh, hello, little sticky nose. Sticky sweet. Care Bear, you're back! Oh, I promise you'll never have to take another bath. Just stay away from candy, okay? Come <laughs> on. Oh, 
<laughs> Very well done, SpongeBob. You deserve a star yourself. Aw, Mrs. Puff, that's all that I ever wanted. And a driving license, of course. And restoring Bikini Bottom. And longer work days. Oh, Neptune. Woo! A gold doubloon! Jelly is not so innocent. Your giant sticky notes are back where they belong. <laughs> uh, where did I leave my giant pen? SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His Royal Heine finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can do attitude enabled her. Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes! <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-ups for years now, but I have had it! Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly! Enough is enough! You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. 
You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. <laughs> Wishes may have shaken up the world, but Cassandra is the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. We look really cool while we do it. Word. I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah, what happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I can wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Patrick, no! no!
47 seconds later.